This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. I bought a broken Canon R6 DSLR camera. After looking at it, I think it might be just the lens that's broken. The problem is I've never fixed a lens like this before, so this should be a challenge. The Canon R6 kit lens is a 24 to 105 millimeter, and this one seems to have this piece broken. It's kind of loose in there, actually. Whoa, there we go. Interesting. So I'm gonna get this lens off and see if we can fix it. Definitely got something inside there. I see one little locating pin here and another one here. Makes me wonder if there's supposed to be one more right here. Now the closest I've gotten to repairing something like this is the professional level camcorder that I repaired a few videos ago. It's got an attached lens and I did have to repair part of that attached lens. So that was kind of similar to this, but I've never done an actual lens that just comes all the way off like this. So I think the first thing we need to do is figure out what's rattling around in there. I don't wanna mess around too much with the internals because whatever it is could be scratching part of the case or possibly even part of the lens. So I wanna be careful there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just start taking off screws and try and get this thing apart. So this lens is about a $400 lens if you buy it new. So definitely not like super top of the line, but also nice enough that I do wanna try and get it fixed. Hopefully these are the screws I'm supposed to be taking off. Unfortunately, there's no disassembly guide or anything like that for anything like this. This type of thing makes me really nervous just because I've never fixed anything like this and I feel like it's gonna be pretty difficult to not only disassemble, but also pretty difficult to get back together. So this is good, that just comes right off, I think. Okay, we've got a little ribbon cable in there. Next, let's remove this little board. That's what I didn't want to do. I don't think that's enough to scratch that lens, but I want to go ahead and avoid that. So it looks like we got some screws for this outer plastic. I'm going to take those off and hopefully that's all we need to do because maybe Whatever piece is stuck in here is just stuck in this, between this inner plastic and the outer plastic. Okay, that's easy. Still got something rattling around in there. Oh, here we go. Got it. So the good news is we got this piece out. The bad news is it looks like it is broken. So down in here, there's a little screw. And that attaches into a plastic piece. So not sure if we'll be able to fix it, but that's definitely a start getting that piece out of there. Maybe it's one, one piece like that. Oh, nope. All those pieces are in place. So next thing to take off, must be this ring right here. Okay, I'm actually gonna mark this just because I don't know for sure if there, if there's only, there's probably only one way this thing goes together, but since I don't know for sure, I wanna make sure I can get it together. Okay, so it looks like this whole outer piece comes off with that. So I need to remove this ribbon cable. Okay. So we have this piece and this piece and this broken piece. And then we also have to fit this piece on there somehow. So I think the problem must be right here. This piece must fit on there. And that's what makes that whole piece move in and out, I think. So that means there must be a piece broken. Ah, here we go, right there. So that piece goes right here, I think. 
So then the question is, is there a way we can repair this that will actually hold? That's a really tiny piece we have right there. So I feel like repairing it probably wouldn't do much good, but I feel like we got to at least give it a try. This piece right here is not something I'm just going to be able to buy somewhere. So I feel like trying to fix it is really our only good move right now. Okay, getting the screw to come out. That's good. And this needs to sit on there, just like that. So now I'm gonna get some adhesive, put on this and see if we can strengthen this up enough so it won't come off easily. So I've prepared our work surface. I've put tape all around the edges here to hopefully avoid having any super glue get to where I don't want it to get to. I would hate to have to do all of this work and then just have super glue all over lens or super glue the lens together or something like that. So we're hoping to avoid that. I'm gonna remove this piece for now. So the other trick is I need to just glue right around this part. If I glue too much down into here, then that's gonna make it so the screw can't screw down there. I'm just gonna try putting some onto my dental pick, spreading it around the surface. Then we will place the piece that needs to go on there. Then add a little more glue around the outside. Hopefully not glue my finger down. Okay, now I need to make sure that this tape doesn't get glued down as well. So I'm gonna remove some of that right there. Okay, I think that's about as good as we can do. I'm gonna let this dry, then we'll come back to it and see if I think it's gonna be strong enough. So I let the adhesive dry overnight, so it should be nice and dry. Let's take a look at it, but first, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, JLC PCB. JLC PCB is one of the best places to get high quality, custom manufactured PCBs for a great price and they also ship out very fast to the United States. Not only does JLC PCB offer aluminum printed circuit boards, they are now offering purple printed circuit boards. They offer several other colors that you can see right on their website at jlcpcb.com, but their newest color is a nice bright purple. And the best part, this color is the same price as all their other PCBs. They're offering a great deal right now for these purple printed circuit boards at only $2 for five boards. They're low cost, they're high quality, manufacturing doesn't take very long, and shipping is also very fast. I'll put a link down in the description that'll take you right to JLC PCB's website, where you can order everything right on their website fast and easy. If you want your custom PCB to really stand out, check out JLC PCB's new purple printed circuit boards. Now let's take a look at that adhesive. Okay, and here we go. It's definitely dry. Seems pretty strong. Let's see how our post fits over it. So that's going to be a problem. There's so much adhesive on it that this post won't fit over it how it should. So I'm going to sand that down a little bit and see if we can get this post to fit over it how we want it to. Okay, I think that's better. Let's see if we can get this thing back together now. So I have to figure out how this goes on. I didn't take this, this part was just kind of loose when I took this thing apart. So it's kind of, oh, there we go. It's kind of difficult when you're trying to put something together that you didn't take apart. Maybe, did we get it? Okay, I think this is on here in the correct position. This post fits right down in here when it slides all the way in. So I think we're good to go so far. Now we need to see if we can fit this into this. So this part needs to go over that post that we fixed, I think. So we need to go in here like this. Okay. Now we've got that post down there. We got to see if we can fit the brass post over that and then screw it down. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Is it gonna work? 
Oh, wow, that is beautiful. That works great. But is it gonna keep working? I feel like that was on there pretty good, but still that makes me a little nervous. So when you're using your camera lens, if you're slamming the zoom in and, in and out, this is the part that's gonna break, at least on this specific lens. I'm assuming most lenses have something similar, so be careful with your lenses. So that part's fixed. Let's see if we can get the rest of this thing back together now. So I think we just might have this lens fixed. Let's attach it to the camera and see what it does. So this lens is working really nicely. Zooms in nicely, it focuses nicely, just works really well. So my first real DSLR lens repair went great. I can't say for sure how long that repair is gonna last because obviously I just did use super glue. The best thing would obviously be to buy that barrel assembly, but since I don't think there's anywhere that I can buy those, I just had to do what I had to do to make it work, and right now it's working great. I'll definitely have to be a little careful with it when I'm zooming, but other than that, it seems to work perfectly. Thank you to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching my very first DSLR lens repair, and I hope you have a good one.